the worst thing about living with Buck. Oh, well. <laughs> Get to the juicy <laughs> stuff. <laughs> well, he procrastinates about anything and everything. Okay. He, he just doesn't get around to doing the things he says he's going to do. He does a whole lot of, I'll do it later, I'll get to it, don't worry, it'll get done. When it comes to stuff, uh, you know, around the house, how do you guys split up uh, doing what needs to be done around the, the place? Well, the idea was that I cook, he do the dishes, we kind of share the laundry, He cleans out the cat box every once in a while. I do everything else. <laughs> I do the vacuuming, do most of the laundry, the bathroom, the floors, the grocery shopping. The, yeah, it's not split very evenly. And it'd be nice if he maybe put me in front of his computer game a little bit more. I don't want to have to mother him. That's not what I, you know, right. I want to a man, not a little boy. Right. So sometimes it's just kind of like, I'll let you stay in your squalor and see how long it takes. And eventually it's, okay, you have laundry piled under your computer, you have trash piled under your computer. I'll start moving stuff out of the way because I just can't take it anymore. The, the balancing act with the trash drives me crazy too. You know, What's just, that? He, well, most people, when it reaches the top of the trash, they'll stop putting stuff in it uh -huh. and maybe take it out. No, it's, let's see what we can add to it. <laughs> and if it's propped against the wall, kind of, it's still there. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Any, any other, like, little pet peeves that while we're at it, we might as well knock that <laughs> out, too? <laughs> oh, just small pet peeves? Uh, yeah, the concept of flushing the toilet is beyond him. Uh -huh. <laughs> so that drives me crazy, especially when people are at the house. Because we're talking about, you know, asking her about romance. Right. And she said maybe it's been a, a little while. Yeah, okay. I'm kind of lacking in that department, I think. What do you do around the house? Well, uh, not enough, I guess. She said you have issues with flushing sometimes. Yeah, I guess so. You know, um, I didn't really realize it was a problem until I started dating her, but I guess I have a tendency to flush the toilet or, you know, like you flush and then, you know, you might do something else, and then you just kind of walk out and forget about it. So, I mean, that's kind of embarrassing to talk about with strangers, but, yeah, I guess I'm guilty of it. Yeah. So, man, who, who asks who wears the pants? Her. <laughs> let's, let's just face it, you know. <laughs> I want him to be more romantic and be the man, you know. I, I, I don't want to be the, I mean, I don't want to be a little miss submissive girlfriend, but... It'd be nice if I wasn't the only person wearing the pants. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And when it comes to like that manly stuff around the house, who last time that you instigated something, whether it was an outing or dinner or anything, what was the last thing you instigated? 